Hello everyone. My name is Samarpan Vashist and in today's episode we'll be taking a look at article 361 and we'll also be taking a look at why this article is in news. So, the first thing first, as you must know that there are two levels of government uh, and the de jure head or you can say the nominal heads are the honorable president at the union level and there is a governor for every state at the state level and there are some immunities there are some privileges which the honorable president and honorable governors uh, enjoy right so these privileges are given to the president and to the governor so that they can function without any issue without any problem without any fear without any favor what are those issues and why they are in news and are they in line with article 14 that is right to equality so recently article 361 has been in news why this article has been in news why there are so many explainers which are coming because west bengal governor c v anand bose has been accused it is alleged that he has misbehaved right with uh, with an employee of the raj bhavan of west bengal right so it is alleged that he has uh, harassed he has harassed an employee of raj bhavan however this has been denied by the honorable governor so, in this context, we need to know, we need to understand whether a case can be instituted against uh, the governor or not, uh, what are the provisions mentioned in the constitution and what would be the way ahead. So, under article 361 of the part 19 of the constitution, part 19 of the constitution, there is some uh, immunities, uh, you can say some privileges which are mentioned in favor of uh, the governor and the president. So, what does the article 361 say? It says that if the president and the governor shall not be answerable to any court, right? The president and the governor shall not be answerable to any court for the exercise and performance of the powers and duties of office or any act done or purporting to be done by him in the exercise and performance of those power and duties right so if the honorable president or honorable governor takes any action while conducting their official duties they cannot be sued in a court of law right however the government of india uh, you can you can sue the government of india in a court of law but that is not on the president or the governor right this is first thing second thing is it is also mentioned that there cannot be any criminal proceedings whatsoever no criminal proceedings can be in initiated or continued against the president or the governor here two words are important to notice one is initiated and second is continued Initiated means when the president or the governor is in office, you cannot start new case, new criminal case to be more specific against them. Second, if there was there was a case, uh, there was a case, uh, there was a criminal case against the president or the governor, you cannot continue that case, right? So uh, for the period of time, the governor or the president is inside the office. You cannot arrest, you cannot initiate these criminal proceedings, you cannot continue the criminal proceedings. However, when they uh, leave the office, right, when they cease to be the president or the governor, then the proceedings can continue, right. The next uh, subclause of this article says that no process for the arrest or imprisonment of the president or the governor shall be issued from any court the 
uh, honorable president or the governor of any state cannot be arrested cannot be arrested when they are in the office however there is also provision for the uh, civil uh, civil cases what does it say what what is the brief for civil cases for official acts there cannot be any there cannot be any uh, you can say civil case however a civil case can be filed against a governor or the honorable president after giving two months notice so if you give two months notice then you can institute a uh, civil case right what has supreme court said in this uh, in this scenario in rameswar prasad versus union of india this is a very famous case in uh, the constitutional history or the uh, the constitutional law of india in this the honorable supreme court has observed that the position in law is that the governor enjoys complete immunity right also the gover governor is not answerable to any court for the exercise and performance uh, of the powers and of duties uh, during his office for any act done or purporting to be done by the uh, governor right also there has been past precedents uh, in this scenario we can take the example uh, of uh, 2017 in 2017 the supreme court had allowed the press the press charges of criminal conspiracy against uh, lal krist advani murli manohar joshi and uma bharti in the 1992 demol uh, demolition of the babri masjid case however one person and that person was kalyan singh he was the governor of rajasthan so the trial did not take place because uh, kalyan singh was the governor of rajasthan and no case or no trial could be initiated against him at that point of time right has there been past cases uh, in the previous uh, in in the previous times has there been cases where why the governors has been accused of such conduct yes uh, there is a very famous case of nd tiwari uh, where why he was alleged by some of the some of the raj bhavan officials that his conduct was not uh, you can say very pious right so there has been incidents in the past whereby the governors has been accused uh, of, of of harassment by the officials by the raj bhavan officials uh, however uh, governors as well as the president enjoys the uh, immunity under article 361 there is also one more thing which i uh, which we need to see here that is article 14 and article 61 so article 14 says that there shall be equality of law and equal protection by them right however this article 361 is an exception to article 14 whereby there are some special privileges for the office holders also uh, we need to consider article 61 which is an exception to article 361 when there is a impeachment process going on uh, against the president then this uh, this uh, article 361 does not provide any immunity and it is mentioned in this article itself furthermore uh, since we are on the topic of of uh, governor and president and their impeachment uh, i would like also uh, uh, i would also tell you that the governor holds office during the pleasure of the president or or it is also mentioned in the constitution that uh, exception to this this uh, the pleasure doctrine he can hold the office for 5 years also so this was it in today's this uh, current affair shorts where why we tell you about what are the important things which are going on so this article 361 is in news along with it article 61 article 14 article 156 are also in news which we have talked about uh, i'll see you in my next video 
ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू जय हिंद